Hi everyone, this is Shiva Teja from the Einstein Analytics product team. Today let us just check a few options around dynamic measures and groups or even charts using the pages. So let me just go into the create dashboard option and clicking creating a blank dashboard. So dynamic groups and measures have always been used uh, so far in bindings using bindings so starting summer 2018 we have the option of pages and we have pages generally available we have a limit up to 20 pages so that you can add on your dashboard so let us just see a small example of how dynamic measures or groups can be achieved let me just create a simple chart here and from my opportunities data set I'll just create a sum of amount by industry I'll click on done all right let me just create a new page or first let me rename this amount by industry let me just call this amount by account type add this and I will create a chart in the second page similar to what I have created in the first page all right we have this ready so I go into my chart let me just try and see if I can push accounts annual revenue in this chart I'll set this is grouped by account type click on done let me just create a let me change this to a donut for example then amount by state add I'll add for the chart here adjust the dimensions accordingly and sum of amount by billing state or province and in my charts I can set this to a map and in my format options I can set the map to your states click on done so I have three different pages with the same in the same dashboard with different metrics and different groupings or dimensions so let me just create a few links create a second link and a third link I'll set the first one to industry and the second one account type and the third one to states by clicking on command you can select multiple options I'll move this or add this to all the three pages apply 
since they are linked when I set the option to page and layout and amount by industry please note that in the second page and the third page also these values gets changed so I'll set the second one to page and layout the amount by account type the third one page and layout amount by state to just make this a bit visually more appealing let me set a few text styles I'll unlink this widgets I'll change the text to black right change the text to black and the widget style to white second one text to white right let us now see this in action I go into my preview mode now clicking on industry I have my sum of amount group by industry clicking on account type I have my sum of accounts annual revenue group by account type and clicking on states I have my sum of amount group by the US states this is how you work with dynamic measures and groupings and charts with pages. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.